Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get into today's episode, a couple of quick, really cool things to tell you about. First of all, congrats to Phil Lanz and Uriah Heep's keyboardist and one of the primary songwriters for finishing his book trilogy, The Evil with a Thousand Faces. All three books, uh, well, the first two are available now. The third one is on pre-order. It will be available March 31st. Get your order in. On the website, scotthaskin.com, go to Uriah Heat Podcast, scroll down to Phil's section, and you will see links for all three books on Pegasus and Amazon UK. The first two books are available on Amazon US. I am waiting for that link for the third one to show up, but get your order in. That is a huge undertaking, so seriously, well done, Phil. Also, I told, uh, told you guys about this on the first couple of episodes. Go to Elkie's website. That is in the show notes and on my website as well. And go check out her picture. She's done uh, a beautiful picture that spans Uriah Heep's music over the first 24 albums. There is a song to be found. A couple albums have two songs, but there is at least one song per album to be found. The answers are on her website, as well as the full picture and some zoomed in things. And uh, she will also give you hints. So it's a very cool thing. It's a lot of fun to uh, see if you can figure out what pictures represent what songs. And uh, it was a, a great painting by Elke. So go and check that out. And now today's episode. Welcome to Uriah Heap, the Magician's Podcast. I'll be covering every studio song the band has recorded and every bonus track that I can find. Each week we'll go over a new song from the beginning to where they are currently, and as they keep adding albums, I'll keep adding shows. Let the deep dive party begin. In the magic garden, some were singing, some were dancing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Uriah Heat, the Magician's Podcast. I am your host, Scott Haskin. Wow, guys, we're almost done with season 24. Can you believe it? Of course, there's only 10 songs on the album, and there's no bonus tracks that aren't tied to another version of a song. So it's kind of a shorter album, and thus a shorter season. But it has been cram-packed with amazing music, and we're going to get into this song, Falling Under Your Spell by Uriah Heep. I feel like they were so excited to jump in and start playing this song that they didn't even wait for that full organ swell. He's like, I'm going to start. And they're like, OK, great. We're going to start, too. And just jumped right in. Uh, great passion and energy right from the beginning. I mean, what more could you ask for? Especially, you know, kind of as you get closer to the end of an album, you have, uh, you know, a couple of slower songs sometimes. And sometimes it's good to just have a, a nice energy refresher, you know, kind of a palate cleanser, if you will. lot of time action on this album, which I really love because they sound so good. I mean, the drums themselves are just huge sounding. Russell's a powerful hitter on top of that. Um, you've got just a nice reverb on them and, you know, they're panned well. It's just, it's really a joy to listen to drums that sound this good on top of a great performance. Um, love the vocals on this, you know, just energy right out of the gate and the music, the backing track is just so big and full and driving a lot of work on the organ going on here really cool stuff You know, it might sound simple, the music that's going on underneath this really strong vocal here, but there's there's a great progression to it. And between the sound of mixed guitar and Phil's keys and Dave's bass, 
it just it, it really is a huge thick sound and i think it's perfect for this album um it really drives the vocal as well supports it and drives it at the same time and then of course you got you know just a kick-ass drum beat going on so all again you know another spot where all the elements are there everything's coming together they're playing as tight as ever and Bernie's just delivering a fantastic vocal. I really like the way that he sings this too, um, where he chooses to put his inflections. Very important, could really change the whole song if he did it differently. That's a really cool part. But what's especially interesting to me about it is that the keyboard that's playing along with the guitar is a little bit louder than the guitar, but then the keyboard that's filling in the spaces is quieter than the guitar. So that's weird. That seems a little bit off balance to me. The sound isn't bad. You could definitely hear what everybody's playing, but it just seems like a weird balance to me. Um, but I like how, how tight they are. I like the part. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's progressive for sure. Another nice little build, you know, just just a nice accent that you may have noticed is that the first half of that you hear just toms. And in the second half of that, there's a snare added to put, you know, the one beat back in to keep us on track. But also the fills in between that get more intense. So it's a nice little progression as we're about to build into the next part. And in classic Heap fashion, another complete surprise, something you would not have expected. And yet there it is. Wonderful. Just sweep into a whole different feeling of the song. Love the choppy vocal there. I thought that was nice. Um, kind of reminiscent of, of older Heap, I would say. But it's definitely a, a cool part and something that, you know, who else would have come up with this? Really nice harmonies on that solo. Uh, fit, once again, fit the song very well. But I like that it wasn't a, a ripping fast solo like you would have expected. The music slows down and says, let's do something a little bit different here. Kind of like in the part with the Oz, it just just completely throws you. And, you know, I kind of imagine that as being the, you know, the point where you're just caught under that spell you know, and, and just your whole world is changing. Really cool part, though. Uh, I dig this solo. Um, I like the double bass drums through the song. I think we're, we're doing well on this one as, as good as any other song on the album.
Well, I don't know if you can hear it because it's pretty quiet, but there is a nice uh, delay effect on Bernie's voice on the last little bit of words that he's saying there, uh, just cascading off into the uh, into the ether world, as it were. Um, but it's very quiet, so you may not be able to hear it. Uh, really cool, though. Nice, uh, solid ending and a very powerful song. You know, there's a lot of uh, just aggressive feel in it. Not not like an angry aggression, but like a, an excited aggression. And I think it's a great song. You know, it's always a good concept to talk about how we're affected by things or people or ideas. And um, so, you know, right off the bat, you're starting off with a good premise. So very cool song. Great music. Uh, wow. Just another uh, a, a, another freight train of a track from Uriah Heep. It never ends with these guys. I'm telling you, they're, you know, they're, they're, they get more and more surprising with each album. And I, I love the drive of this album. It's just fantastic. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. We will be back tomorrow with the final track of this incredible album, Live in the Dream. And of course, our final song, one of my favorite songs, let alone Uriah Heep songs, Dreams of Yesteryear. Cheers! Thank you for joining me on this episode of Uriah Heep, the Magician's Podcast. If you have enjoyed this show, please consider going over to Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast outlet, leaving a rating or a review. Be sure to subscribe to make sure that you are notified when new episodes are available. Please be sure to share this podcast with your fellow Uriah Heap enthusiasts and anyone who you think would like Uriah Heap, which should be everyone. And if you are so inclined, please feel free to contribute to the Patreon account. And if you are not a Patreon subscriber, you can also pay through the PayPal link on the website listed in the show links below. I would also like to thank Uriah Heap for their very generous support of the show. And thank you guys for listening. We'll see you in the next episode. Happy days. <laughs>